Welcome back to the channel, Racer X here. And today I'm actually back in Tampa, Florida, my hometown. Just moved here, as many of you guys know that follow my channel. Just got back from Detroit. And as we know, I was up there for all of the Speed Week events that Dodge was putting on, also the Roadkill Nights, which was a Motor Trend thing sponsored by Dodge. Had an absolutely fantastic time. Learned a lot. You guys saw on a lot of my lives. Uh, I brought you all of the unveilings, nights one, two, and three. It was just a crazy, crazy week. We saw all the stuff that's coming down the pipe from Dodge. Obviously, we saw some of the 2023 stuff. We saw the new Hornet. And then, of course, the very last night, we did see the brand new Charger uh, Banshee, which is uh, just an insane looking uh, electric vehicle. So, Today, uh, topic's gonna change just a little bit because I found out something, I feel like I need to share it with you guys. It is very important and it is in regards to our beloved Challenger. And as you can see behind me, we've got Challengers. This has been a staple of the Dodge lineup now for quite some time. Well guys, things sound like they're going to change. I'm gonna tell you all about it today. Also, if you're new to my channel, please guys hit subscribe right down here in the corner. Only about 22% uh, of you guys watching at home are subscribed to my channel. And I have so much cool stuff planned for this year. It's gonna be a blast and off we go. Now, many of you watched live on my channel as we did the unveilings from Pontiac, Michigan at the M1 concourse, and that was a lot of fun and really mixed reviews on all of that. Some people were sorely disappointed by everything that Dodge showed us over the course of the last three or four days, and then other people were actually pleasantly surprised. And of course, the second night we saw the brand new Dodge Hornet. Um, it really is just an Alfa Romeo Tonale that uh, has kind of been Dodge, so to speak, right? I mean, it's got a different front fascia on it, um, a couple other Dodge bits but basically that's what that was we saw three different trim levels we saw the gt we saw the rt and of course we saw the ghost like hell or the glh version which i thought was the coolest one only available through direct connection and tim mentioned they sold 14,000 units the very first day which is super impressive because since 8 a.m this morning we received 14,000 orders wow. you you truly represent a brotherhood that is embracing this expansion. You know, everybody was wondering, why are they putting this out? It's not going to sell. It's going to be terrible for the brand. Not at all, guys. It was actually a really good decision. And uh, my biggest takeaway from that is, look, guys, that wasn't made for the muscle car guys. The 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 95% of folks out there that don't care about muscle cars and stuff that's super fast and all that kind of stuff, that's who they made that for. And we need those kind of cars in order to be successful as a brand. Uh, and, you know, Dodge made no bones about it. We've got to put those types of vehicle offerings out there so that we can make the really, really fun stuff that a lot of the muscle heads and the gear heads of the world like me and a lot of, a lot of times like you guys, uh, that's what we want. And then of course the third night they rolled out the Banshee. And that was the highly anticipated thing that everybody wanted to see. And of course they called it a charger. And so we know the charger will live on in electric form as the Banshee, right? The SRT Charger Daytona Banshee is what they called it. Pretty cool looking car, um, very new, all new technology, all new chat. Everything about that thing is brand new, state of the art. I thought, I was actually very impressed. I thought it was very cool. And uh, so we know once uh, we get through 2023, the, uh, the charger will live on. But where does that leave us? with the Challenger. So as we know, the Challenger has been a staple of the Dodge lineup since 1970, 52 years they've been doing the Dodge Challenger and uh, they have sold a whole bunch of these things. And it's always kind of been just that, that, that iconic muscle car, so to speak, right? And still is, it's pretty much the only true muscle car on the market right now. And we know for 2023, we're still gonna be getting the Challenger, right? We're still gonna get the big V8s, they're still gonna be making the Hellcats, all that kind of stuff, but he made no bones about it. Tim Kaniskis, the CEO said, look, after 2023, the big V8s, they're going away, guys. He, I mean, he, clear as day, he stated it in his press conference and during the unveiling. So we all know that that is true and factual. 23 model year, Chargers and Challengers will be the last of the heavy powered L cars that we built. And when that window closes, there's no reopening it. Production ends December of 23. You need to get your orders in now or never. And, uh, and then of course, 
the Challenger. So where are we with the Challenger? We already know the Charger's going full EV. He mentioned nine different power levels on that thing. All sorts of stuff on, on, the, challenge, on the Charger, I should say. But the Challenger itself, is it a dead horse? Well, they got all these special editions coming out for 2023. We saw all the little dates on the semi truck. So there's gonna be a handful of those going out to select dealerships. And if you're lucky enough to get one of those special editions, which we don't even know what they're gonna look like yet, I think uh, that is going to be very, very cool. And you will have a very iconic car. So for 2024, where does that leave us with the Dodge Challenger. I mean, we see, uh, you know, like I said, all the special edition stuff's gonna go away after 2023, the Hellcats, all the big V8s, all that stuff's going away after 2023. We know the Charger's gonna live on. Well, I was able to ask the executives that very question. Everybody's wondering, well, what about the Challenger? They didn't bring the CUDA out. A lot of people were surprised by that. And, um, you know, so I asked those guys. They're very approachable, uh, awesome guys to work with, and they're very careful with the information they reveal and how they word things. So when I said, look, we see the Charger, it looks awesome. I can't wait. Let's find out everything that thing will do. What are we doing with the Challenger? And uh, what I was told verbatim, guys, and like I said, I'm not one to spread gossip, rumor, whatever else. I'm just going to tell you exactly what I was told. He said, uh, well, if you don't see anything on the Challenger, you know, it is what it is. You have to read between the lines. Verbatim, guys. That came directly from the senior leadership at Dodge. And so my thought is, Yes, the Challenger, unfortunately, is going to go away after 2023. Um, unless something changes, guys. We haven't seen anything from Dodge come down during Speed Week on it. Uh, we already know the V8s are going away. So as we know it, the Dodge Challenger, it is very likely to go away. In my mind, when he says read between the lines, you guys can read it just like I can. Unfortunately, I'm afraid the Challenger may be no more. And he also mentioned in the press conference, Tim did, look, if you want to get a, you know, the current muscle car, you've got to make sure you get your orders in right now. By October, we already know all, you know, basically every build that's going to happen on the Chargers and Challengers, all that kind of stuff. We know what dealerships they're going to go to. They called it a horsepower locator. Um, so they're going to get all these things built and then they're going to start switching over to, to producing, obviously, the future of Dodge. So if you want a Charger, you want a Challenger, and you want the, the uh, internal combustion version of it, get it in now, especially if you want a Challenger, guys time is ticking. So that is really the big thing, guys. A lot of you guys kind of saw this coming. It's just it's just one of those things, you know, Dodge has to continue to evolve as a brand. And as I mentioned, I only want to tell you what they told me. And something could change between now and then. You know how things are, guys. But as of right now, read between the lines when it came to uh, what's actually happening with the Dodge Challenger, guys. I mean, he said it, but he didn't quite just abruptly say it. You guys understand what I'm trying to tell you right now. Like I said, they word things very carefully at that level, but uh, you guys can kind of draw the conclusion for yourself on the Challenger. So if you love the Challenger, guys, go out and get it while you can. That is my big message to you for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below, and I will catch you on the next one. So until then, Racer X.